What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus Ally X gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're going to finish up Call of Duty Black Ops 6 by trying out the Warzone. At first I thought, oh, they probably didn't even mess with anything, but luckily I went and checked and apparently they made it much different. So the performance might've changed, so we should definitely check it out. Now, I've already done quite a bit of online stuff. So for this one, I think I'll probably just do what I usually do and kind of just parachute off into the middle of nowhere and run around for a little bit versus try and land with everybody else and just instantly getting my ass handed to me. Cause it's not like I could to instantly respawn like I did in the just in regular multiplayer. That one, it's easy to just run in and be a freaking maniac. You respawn, and as long as you don't just feed the team and just die more than you kill, which didn't actually happen to me very much. I think most of the time I had more kills than deaths, so that's at least good, but that's not usually what happens to me on Warzone. On Warzone, I usually drop down, grab a gun, maybe it's a pistol, maybe it's some like all right rifle, but then I usually have somebody come up behind me and just like instantly like just killing the shit out of me and they steal all my shit. I'm just not fast enough. But if I practiced, I could probably get fast enough at it, but I'd rather just take it a little easier on these videos. So we're just gonna do the regular old thing that I usually do for the Warzone video. Hopefully people don't get too mad at that, but I think I did a pretty damn good job with the rest of this game. So anyway, why don't we not waste any more time and let us get into the game. All right, so here's the settings we're gonna go with first. Obviously it's a little bit overzealous, probably, especially for a big open world like Warzone. It's not gonna be as easy to run as the littler maps of Black Ops 6. This thing actually did a badass job in that game, but we're basically just gonna copy the same settings we ran on that on here and just see what it can do. If I remember correctly, it could only really muster like 50s, like 40s to 50s. But hey, let's go find out. Here we are in the plane. Let's just try to go off by our lonesome here. Cause I always get my ass handed to me in this one 10 million percent worse than I ever did in like the multiplayer of just regular Black Ops and whatnot, and regular modern warfare. Warzone's a whole nother animal. Now, I can uh, I can sometimes do okay if I've got my friends backing me up. I'll usually take like the hang back and snipe roll and keep an eye out and say, hey, there's some people over at 195. And then I'll usually try to snipe them. And then guide my friends to where they are and just hopefully get them killed. If not, I'm probably going to lose because I don't think a sniper can usually take out an entire team by themselves. Once my position is known, I'm probably going to get killed. So I got to like take a shot and get the fuck out of there. That's usually what I do. Oh yeah, we'll just get down to the ground, run around a little bit. Hopefully I won't have to fight anybody, but if I do, I will almost assuredly lose. And that's not even being hard on myself. I am really bad with controllers, and I'm not even that great at Warzone, even with a keyboard and mouse, let's be honest. But the one thing I never liked about the controllers is it seems like everybody else, like, hits a button and it, like, beelines to my face. When I just aim down the sights, mine doesn't do that. Is that, like, a, a setting you have to turn on, or, or what? Or are they all just really good at like flicking their thumb right up to my face? It could just be that. But it sure looks like it's auto-aim. But I'm not really used to using controllers, so I really have no idea. Oh, no, that's just pistol ammo. I thought that was a pistol. Well, at least I have a pistol. Oh, here we go. Here's some stuffs. And a shotgun? Eh, I think I'll keep what I got. That and I honestly don't even remember how to freaking cycle through guns with a controller. I can do it no problem on computer, but no idea how to do it on here. Man, this thing has like lots of big stutters. I think it's mostly from this being a little bit too overzealous in the settings department would be my guess. Because I think when we have it on low, it doesn't really do it too bad. But then as soon as I turn frame gen on, then it goes right back to doing it. But yeah, there's still some people out there that probably find this more than playable, though. Me, it's a little too stuttering, a little, a little too low in the FPS for me. Although, that's the least of my problems. Even if I was getting 2,000 FPS right now, I would not be able to hit the broad side of a barn. At least not before whoever saw me had already filled me so full of lead, I won't even get to turn around. With keyboard and mouse, I can, like, whip around really quick and maybe have a shot. It's still not a 100% guarantee, and I still usually lose, but... 
with this, it's like I can't even try. It's like I can get halfway turned around and I'm already toast. But man, these stutters are something else. Even if I was fighting with somebody, I might actually lose because of the stutter. Mostly because of my skill, but the stutter's definitely not helping. Anyway though, let's go move on. So, here we go, we're gonna drop it down to 900p. Still use some FSR, so it's not really true 900p. All right, let's go look at the actual quality settings now. We're still on FSR 3.0. I've got it on quality. I can't remember if I actually show you. No, I think I just skipped right past it, but it's on quality. I should have hit the X real quick to show you, but half the time I forgot, just being honest. But anyway, let's get back into the game and see if we can actually get some playable FPS now. Well, here we go with 900p. And now that it's loading in and everything, at first I thought it was gonna still be in the 50s, but we can still drop into the 50s, but it seems like it's 60, 70 for the most part. So that's at least much better, but it still looks like it's got lots of the stutters. And that could be Wi-Fi, that could be the server, but I think it's just because I'm being a little too overzealous on the settings still. Or maybe it's because I'm using FSR. Maybe if I had just done native 900p, it would have done better, at least in the smoothness department. Because if you introduce a CPU bottleneck, it's gonna give you lots of stutters. But a lot of games just have stutters nowadays. And stutters in a first person shooter get you killed. Even if you're not good like me. Like I could start shooting somebody in the back, get a stutter like that right there, and then that gives them enough time to whip right around and shoot me right in the eyeball. Especially with the way con uh, controller people seem to be. They just like, oh, I saw a pixel, I hit a button, all right, you're dead. And I'm sitting here going, uh, what, what just happened? At least with keyboard and mouse, I have like a small opportunity to defend myself, it feels like, but when I go against controller players, it's like, no. You get dominated into the dirt. Like, I still think even if I was able to use a control or a keyboard and mouse versus controller people, I'd still lose. Like, that shit's just way too OP. It's probably why they separated them. It wasn't so because of the keyboard and mouse people would get, like, you know, easy kills on the controller people. It's because the controller people would make easy pickings out of the PC people, I think. Now, if they didn't have the auto aim, it would be way easy to just kill them. It's almost impossible, as far as I'm concerned, to aim with a freaking controller when you don't have auto aim. I'm sure there's some people that can do it. I am not one of them. Primary objective is to All right, so what do we got here? Targets. Yeah, still dropping into the 50s and having stutters. Oh, I don't have any money yet, really. That, oh, there we go, guns. Yeah, we're still getting those big stutters. I don't like that. So I'm still going to consider it basically unplayable. We're getting okay-ish FPS. But, I mean, who cares what the FPS says if we're getting big stutters like that every once in a while? Or not even once in a while. That's pretty... I can't even walk to another house without it happening, it seems. See? Now, I think it stopped doing that so much when we get down to low in 720p without any FSR. But I think it reintroduces it once I tried that frame gen stuff. But you guys will see that once we move on to it. However, this thing kicks ass at playing just regular multiplayer for both Warzone and, or not Warzone, but Modern Warfare and Black Ops. Not, you know, maxed out 1080p, obviously, but 900p and 720p were more than playable. Lighter must be getting low on fluid. Eh, I haven't filled it up in a while, so that could totally be. It did not want a light. It's that weird inverted lighter. What do they call it? The Sim? That's how I'd pronounce it, but I'm the king of mispronouncing stuff. Anyway though, why don't we move on to 720? All right, now we're gonna do 720p without any help from FSR. I don't think we have needed. I think that'd make it way too low resolution. All right, now we can go over to the quality. All righty, and now we can go ahead and hop ourselves into the game. All right, here we go. 
Now we're on low, and we definitely stay over 60 FPS now. And we still have a little stutter every once in a while, but I feel like it got a little better. But I don't think it got rid of it completely. But it's hard to say to say when you're like in the sky, and the sky has like stuttered sometimes on like even my most badass computers. So I want to get down to the ground before I make my absolute decisions on whether or not it's still too stuttery or not. But honestly, even this is like way better than before. I think I was just overdoing it a little bit. Even though it's got eight gigs of VRAM, it doesn't matter if the actual GPU itself can't handle it, right? <laughs> it's just nice to not have the VRAM be a limitation. I really wished I could do eight on my little fire bat, and then it would be like the perfect little computer. It would not have like those stutters anymore, I don't think. Now, sometimes I think something's overheating too, or something in the background is throttling, because what else would make those weird frame time skips when it's like using 2.5 gigs of RAM and so on and so forth? I mean, unless something in Windows really is using like 1.8 gigs of VRAM just sitting there doing nothing. I mean, anything's possible. I'm not a programmer, so I have no idea how much VRAM Windows should be using just sitting on the desktop, but you wouldn't think much. At least I wouldn't. Oh, there's money. I'm probably going to die getting this, but why the hell not? Hell yeah. We got that money. For the stuff I wanna buy. Gotta get money. Or else I'm gonna die. Well, actually, not really. Money doesn't make me not die in this game. I usually just die from bullets. And very rarely have a chance to actually buy stuff. I seem to find the buy stations when I have no money. And then when I have like $5,000 and shit, it's nowhere to be found. I mean, I could just look at the map, but half the time I have my map covered by nonsense. But that's okay. We're just getting you guys date anyway. But see what I mean? It still has a stutter every now and again, but I think it's behaving a lot better now. And I don't know about you guys, but I care much more about FPS than graphics and whatnot in a first-person shooter. See, it still has a bad stutter like right there. And we even dropped down under 60 to 59. Ooh, no. But definitely notice the stutter. Even without the frame rate counter, I would have noticed the stutter. But I still stand by my statement. It's still better than it was before. We'll have to see if frame gen was really that bad. Because that's what we're going to test next. And then we'll get a little camera recorded gameplay after that. Probably with frame gen on. That tank's seen better days. And sometimes you get like little weird little graphical anomalies and whatnot. This thing has never really truly liked any like Modern Warfare or Black Ops or Warzone game I've played. It almost always has some form of graphical anomalies, but nothing that would prevent me from playing though. So here we go, 720p time. And we're just going to do everything in low now. This is going to be, well, 720p and frame gen, I should say. And we're leaving it on native 720, though. So it does say 3.0, but I have it on native. I just needed to turn it on to something just to get it to let me turn on frame gen. But everything else is still on low, like it was at 720. I just figured we'd see what it can do with frame gen now. So, back to the game we shall go. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go. Now it almost looks like we're getting esports levels of FPS, but we all know we're not really getting 114 to 117 FPS. But since we were close and over 60 already, it actually does feel like it helped a little. Now on this ally, if you're only getting, for me anyway, from what I've tested, if you're getting 30, 40 FPS, it'll go until you're getting like 65 to 80 FPS, but in reality, it don't feel like it to me anyway. It still feels like I'm getting 30, 35. Maybe it went up to like 30, 9 to 40, 45 tops, but well, doesn't feel quite right. Doesn't feel like no 80. But if I'm already getting 60 plus or already getting like 80 or 100, adding frame gen on top, unless it starts adding a bunch of stutter, usually helps and I don't mind using it. I know they're fake frames, but if it helps and doesn't give me a bunch of graphical anomalies either. A lot of the times these frame gens on both sides will give you even more graphical anomalies than you're used to. 
and usually most of my stuff's stable, but I've noticed on this Ally X, especially in these types of games, it loves to have little little flicker of black over here or something will, like, fizzle. This thing had lots of weird fizzles in the last game where, like, if we were, like, let's just say parachuting, even though you don't really parachute in, in, in the multiplayer of the other ones, at least not that I've done yet, the, like, little things on his parachute that hold it together, little lines would, like, flicker and become, like, almost, like, not even a graphical, like, Anomaly like the graphics card's dying or anything. It just looks weird like a bunch of white mist. Not like a super acid trip RGB, oh my god, my graphics card's about to die or anything like that. Just weird little shit like that. That I didn't really notice on any of my other systems. But we still have a stutter every now and again. But I don't know, does it really look as bad as it did? On some of the other ones? I still think it's alright-ish. But, I don't know, I felt like 720p without the frame gen still felt a hair smoother in the frame, like, skipping department. But, maybe I'm just placeboing myself. Because it doesn't seem like this is horrible. Oh, I can refill my ammo? Don't mind if I do. I don't need much, but I'll take it. And I'm about ready to, like, get hit by that freaking gas. But I can always take that car if I really need to. Well, who knows, it might mean somebody over here and die and not get a chance. See, there's some of those graphical not me that I was talking about. I think it was just trying to load in the grass and shit, but oh, there's some more. Now, I'm sitting here, like, watching myself play, so I don't think I even noticed some of that stuff while I was playing, but I did notice others. All right, let's add an armor plate in there. Every little bit helps. Ooh, loot cash. reveals the location of the next gas spread. Get it to the designated uplink station for decryption. Hurry up! I want you to secure that area until All right, though. All right, now for some camera recorded gameplay here. It still definitely has its stutters, but it usually stutters a lot more in this beginning area where people are popping in. Prep time's over. Now you deploy to the war zone. To the war zone. This part usually stutters like no tomorrow, too. Let's get this shit done. Word came down. We are green to go. So gear up, grab your shoots. We're going to the war zone. You are cleared hot on all threats. Watch your ass down there. Let's roll. Be advised, cash drop is inbound. Oh, is it now? I got one of those in one of the games. Obviously, since I'm not really playing the winner, it doesn't really matter, but...
Target's in the AO. That's still good enough. I would say this game probably is not best played. I mean, it's fine for the campaign and the multiplayer, but it is an absolute shit show for actual wars. At least mine is. It stutters like there's no tomorrow. And that'll get you killed. That's not why I died. I died because I suck ass. But if somebody was actually decent at the game, and was in like a fight, and then it stutters like it's doing, then they could absolutely die because of the stutter. But anyway, let's go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, as a wrap for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, well, Warzone, technically, but it apparently got updated with a bunch of stuff because of Black Ops 6, so. Unfortunately, though, this one seems to have that same stutter it's had. It's probably just, it's too big of a game for it, so it just has stutters, would be my guess. Or it could be the frame gen doing it. I think the smoothest it ever was was just playing with everything on low without the frame gen, personally, but. And I also wish I would have gotten a little bit more footage with the camera, but. Got killed by a dude, wasn't expecting a dude to be out there. I usually try to get far enough away from everybody but it doesn't always work and at least i hit him a few times with my pistol but there was no way i was beating a guy with a high ground who already had like a decently kitted out gun it's not happening not unless they're really 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 bad and that was not the case here i was the one that was really really bad but in any case at least you guys got to see how it performed so that is all i really care about in the end so i hope you guys enjoyed the video because i sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys